So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these DIY wall decor items. It's more like a family wall, I guess, or um, just something sentimental that I've been wanting to make for my own house. And I'll show you how you can do it on a budget without spending a whole lot of money on the pieces, and you can customize them how you want to. I bought the clocks from Dollar General and also my frames for my pictures, and I used an old sign that I made when I first started doing this, and I just wanted to paint over it, and I didn't particularly like it any longer, so I just covered that up and turned it into a new sign to use for this project. And as you can see, my craft room is a lot brighter and it's a lighter color. I've actually renovated this and done a little updating. I still have some organizing to do. I'm doing a whole nother video on that um, of how I painted it. It's more of like a um, soft green color. You might not be able to tell in this video, um, but I will have a video coming up soon to show you guys a tour of it, how it looked beforehand. It was a complete mess beforehand. Um, I've had this room set up since January. It is now um, August and I'm just now getting to painting it and organizing it and trying to get it the way I want it because I just haven't had time for it so I finally just made some time to do some little updating. So I will show you guys a tour of that later on in another video so just be on the lookout for that. So let's get started on the video and I will show you how you can make your very own sentimental gallery wall. So I'm starting off with this really old sign that I have. I'm just going to paint over this with my Waverly chalk paint. I got the plaster white and I put a little water on my brush and I'm just going to brush over it lightly. And it's just a little thin coat and you're just going to keep adding layers to it. It's a little transparent because I want it to have a rustic look to it so you can kind of see through to the wood. I'm not going to add any more water to it, I'm just going to add more paint and just start to dry brush it over there. You'll see I let up on the edges so it's a little rustic around the sides and the center has more of the paint on it because that's where our text is going to go and that way we can cover the text that was originally on the sign. So I'm going to turn the sign to the side, and I have these two picture frames that I got. They're 8 by 10 that I actually got from our Dollar General. And I got these two clocks as well from the local Dollar General, and I'm actually going to resurface them because I don't particularly like the gray. So this is how they're going to sit on the wall. I'm going to have my sign above it, my two picture frames, and then my two clocks below. So I'm going to take off the frame of this clock. And I'm going to do this for both clocks. Just detach it so I don't get any paint on the glass. And just so I can make sure I do a lot of coverage on the frame of this clock. So I would just say whatever clock you get, just be sure that it has those screws on the back so you can detach the frame and actually paint that separately. So I'm doing the same for the second clock. I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint again, but this is the ink black. And I'm just going to brush over the frame. The frame is made of plastic and I didn't do any sanding on it. You can do that if you feel like your paint isn't sticking like it needs to, but this paint actually laid on there pretty well and I didn't have to sand it at all. So I'm going to take this actual chalk and I'm going to rub it on a piece of paper towel and I'm going to brush over my black chalk paint and it gives it more of like a rustic chalkboard style look.
Now we're gonna go over the Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna hit my text box and just start typing in my text. So I'm gonna do one text box for the part that says in these and do a separate text box for moments because I'm gonna do that in a different style text. And do one more text box because this is gonna be dragged out to fit underneath the two texts above. I'm using a light Microsoft font and I'm putting it bold. It's more of a thin font and I'm just going to drag it out to the size so it fits correctly. And I'm doing the bottom text the same way with the Microsoft font and just dragging it out making it bold. In moments I'm going to do a more recursive font. You can drag them in and bring your letters in together if you do the letter space. I have a prefer to drag it out, make it bigger so it's easier to see, and just ungroup the letters and then you can drag them all together to fit properly. Just group your letters back. And then we're just going to size this down. We're going to do our little unlock key up at the top. So we're just going to fit it into that little space. Now that we have them all how we want it, I'm going to weld them all together. Or you can just hit attach if you'd rather not weld them. It does the same thing, it just holds all your text together so it doesn't move when you go to make it onto your mat. So I'm going to resize it to the size that I need. I'm doing a 22 inch wide. And if you did not weld your text, this is where you can hit attach, and then you'll go to make it. And you'll see it's now on a 12 by 24 mat, and it lets you know that you need a 12 by 24. And I don't have a 12 by 24, or I don't have a solid sheet of vinyl to stretch across the 12 by 24, so I actually use two pieces of 12 by 12, and just um, bunch them close together on my 12 by 24 mat. You can also piece together your two 12 by 12s on just regular 12 by 12 mat. If you don't have the large mat, it still works the same. So you'll see I'll have two pieces and I put them two together. You'll see it's all on one strip of this transfer tape. And I just set it to where it looks centered and then just press it onto your board. Once you've laid all the text down, you can now remove your transfer tape and just do that gradually. I've sped this video up so it looks like I'm going faster than what I actually am. So just do that gradually so it doesn't lift up your text as you go. And there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.